So now I'm ready to move on to the questions. 32, the main purpose of the passage is to, okay? So I want to remember that for myself. Anytime I can make an answer for myself before looking at their options, I'm less likely to be tricked and more likely to identify the right answer more quickly. So um, the main purpose of the passage is to say that women have to ask this question, right? Um, so emphasize the value of a tradition, definitely not emphasizing a tradition. B, stress the urgency of an issue. Maybe it's not perfect, um, but it might work depending on what my other options are. C, highlight the severity of social divisions. No, the social divisions are going down, right? Women can now join them on the bridge. D, question the feasibility of an undertaking. Um, it's not really questioning a fundamental thing. It's saying we must question. The passage is pretty certain, though, that we must question. Eliminate that. So stress the urgency of an issue. I'm going to check that there is somewhere that's specifically talking about urgency. Indeed, I'd underline the moment is short, right? So this is a very urgent thing that we must consider. Okay, so moving on. 33, the central claim of the passage is that this is the thesis, right? We need to ask this question. Women well, need to think, do we want to join this procession, right? Um, so I'm going to look for that in my answer choices. A, educated women face a decision about how to engage with existing institutions. That looks like exactly what I was looking for. I just want to go through and eliminate the others. So B, women can have positions of influence in English society only if they give up some of their traditional roles. Definitely not and only if. C, the male monopoly on power in English society is at grave and continuing effects. The male monopoly isn't actually the focus. It's the focus of women now can join this, right? D, the entry of educated women into positions of power traditionally held by men will transform these positions. We don't have that information. So I'm going to eliminate D. The answer will be A, educated women face the decision about how to engage with existing institutions. Moving on. 34, Wolf uses the word we throughout the passage mainly to, and I would say this we is kind of an inclusive we to feel like we're all like friends or working together on something. So I'm going to look to an answer that talks about that. A, reflect the growing friendliness among a group of people. It's not growing necessarily. Don't know, it doesn't really fit. B, advance the need for candor among a group of people. She's not trying to advance a need really. C, establish a sense of solidarity among a group of people. That would fit, right? She wants all the women to feel like they're working together. D, reinforce the need for respect. No, it's not about respect. It's about working together. So I'm going to choose C. 35, according to the passage, Wolf chooses the setting of the bridge because it... Um, I'm going to actually go to that place, and that would be in the first paragraph. And I'm looking for why she chose the bridge. So the first sentence is just describing the bridge. The second sentence from three, the river flows beneath. Okay, more describing the bridge. The next sentence from six, it is a place to stand on by the hour dreaming. Okay, it's really just a description. Seven, but not now. Now we are pressed for time. Now we are here to consider facts. Okay, so this is why we are on the bridge, right? We're here to consider facts and we must fix our eyes upon the procession of the sons of educated men. So we wanna watch these guys, the sons of educated men. I'm going to look for an answer that talks about that. So a mood of fanciful reflection definitely does not fit. B provides a good view of the procession of the sons of educated men. Sounds like it fits perfectly. I'm going to check my other answers. C is with insight of historic episodes. She's not really talking about historic episodes. It's right now. D is symbolic of the legacy of past and present sons of educated men. It's not a symbol. She's actually putting us there and saying we're watching this thing. I'm going to choose B about the sons of educated men. Normally you want to watch out for such um, direct language. It can be a trick answer, but this is so clearly a right answer. There's no way that we can eliminate it. 36, we noticed, is paired with 37. So we have to decide if it's more helpful to do them separately or actually just do them together. So let's look at 36 first and see if we have an instant answer. Wolf indicates that the procession she describes in the passage. Um, this could be anything, right? There are a lot of different possibilities. Um, I'm going to go through them here and see if I can eliminate some. So A has come to have more practical influence in recent years. No, that's not really the change that she's highlighting. It's not more practical. B has become a celebrated feature of English public life. Um, 
it's just not really relevant. C includes all of the richest and most powerful men in England. Maybe, right? She's saying that they're all these powerful men. Um, D has become less exclusionary in its membership in recent years. Okay, so D, I think, is my strongest answer because women are being included. That's the main point of this whole passage. But I'm not totally sure. I'm going to check with my pieces of evidence. These could be anywhere because it's such a broad question. I'm just going to go through them in order. So 12 to 17, there they go, our brothers who have been educated at public schools and universities, mounting those steps, passing in and out of those doors, ascending those pulpits, preaching, teaching, and ministering just. Okay, so it's about the men who are in the procession. That might support C for 36. So I'm not going to totally eliminate it yet. Let's keep going. 17 to 19. It is a solemn sight always, a procession like a car caravanserai crossing a desert. It doesn't really have any specific details and it wouldn't support either of my possible answers for 36. C, 23 to 24. For there, traipsing along at the tail of the procession, we go ourselves. Okay, so that's us as women joining the procession. That might actually fit, right? That would fit with D from 36. I'm going to leave it 30 to 34. We too can leave the house, can mount those steps, pass in and out of those doors, make money. Okay, so it's about the same thing, but we're no longer really talking about the procession, which is the thing in 36. So I'm going to eliminate D. So I have to choose now if I want A and C or D and C, or C and A or D and C. Um, and so looking at 36 includes all of the richest and most powerful men in England. Um, it seems less likely than D because it's less related to her thesis, but I'm going to check the lines 12 to 17, see if it really does support that claim. There they go, our brothers who have been educated at most public schools and universities, mounting those steps, passing in and out of those doors, ascending those pulpits, preaching, teaching, administering justice, practicing medicine, transacting business, making money. Okay, so these men are really successful, have all these opportunities. But does it actually say that they're the richest or most powerful? No, right? This is our extreme language. It's usually going to be wrong. So I will choose D. And then C indeed supports that we have joined the procession. Women had joined this procession.